Kia ora koto. Okay, so it's kind of finished. I'll probably look at it again and find lots of things that niggle me and I have to have another go at it. So this is a kind of part two, really, of an experimental drawing that I did of a castle wall, a rampart section. Uh, so that's a cross section and that's the uh, front elevation. And... Uh, I had a few thoughts, ideas about why don't they, why didn't they do this on castles and why didn't they do that? So I kind of uh, drew it out and um, now I realise why. <laughs> that would have been a bad idea. So there's lots of mistakes in this, lots of things I would do differently. And I will, I'm going to do a new drawing. Um, but I'm just going to point out some of the things that I didn't point out or um, dwell on so much in the previous drawing, uh, or previous video, sorry. Um, so first of all, um, if you're going to make the wall section that wide and then fill it in with all that massive amount of stone, albeit that, you know, that's, that infill stone here is real rubbish stone. It's the outer stones, which are the ashlars, they're the good stone. It's still a huge amount of stone. Um, so, and I guess a person... Uh, it's going to be about this tall, so the size of a person is sort of like that. So you could, for the effort you've made in making this wall this thick, you could have actually had a hollow section wall, and then you could have had uh, arrow slits in within the wall, uh, which they often did. So you could have a row of arrow slits there, you could have a row of arrow slits sort of here as well. So very wasteful on, you know, very heavy on materials. Um, so... Yeah, uh, we've already talked about the, the buttress, uh, so I won't cover that one again. I'm, I'm going to do a plan and a, so, you know, looking down, looking down on this. Um, so, uh, oh, I was going to do something else as well. I was going to do a plan. Um, was I going to do a view the other way? Yeah, maybe a, a, an elevation kind of from this side. And then I'm going to start a fresh and and draw it how it should be drawn really um so that will explain a lot of things now i just want to explain this often on castles and other buildings you have this kind of line you know you have a, you have stone and then you have a that's all kind of not not rough necessarily but um but then you have this kind of you know long almost like a curb stone um in the middle of the building that goes along and what that was is a leveler uh, so they would build up and build up and build up, not worrying too much about how square and how level it is and how, um, you know, true to, to flat uh, it was. But when you got to a certain point, they would put a line in just to bring, you know, any errors, uh, rectify any errors before you, they built any more. Um, so they build further. Now, why can't we see stone on the front of the wall here? Um, you can see it on the corners, but not on the front of the wall. Well, castles, many many of them were lime washed, uh, or washed with a kind of a lime, kind of a plaster, um, so that they would have been gleaming white when they were first built. I've I've kind of decided to pick this one, picture this one, you know, maybe a few years after completion, so there's some weathering, um, and of course the weathering here. This is where the water would drain. Um, it's not for draining water, but um, uh, being a bit, bit <laughs> a boring person, I've wanted to incorporate drainage um, into this castle to see how kind of drainage would work. Uh, so that's why that's weathered there. And this would have been pure gleaming white when it was built, if if they had that this kind of lime wash, and um, you know protected the stonework. And also, a lot of castles were actually made out of wood. Not many people realise that. The wooden castles were a big thing, and there were lots of them, and they didn't last, so we don't see them. We only see the stone ones. So. When you had a wooden castle, you didn't want everyone to know that it's a wooden castle, so they come along and burn it down. Um, you would, uh, you know, you'd, you'd lime wash it with this lovely whitewash lime kind of coating, and you couldn't tell whether it was a stone castle or a, a wooden one. People would probably know, really, if they'd done their homework, but at a glance, you wouldn't know. Um, but probably the main reason is, you know, it would have looked very impressive, you know, gleaming white castle. 
because uh, castles were psychological weapons as much as anything else. Um, you know, had a huge effect on, you know, generally speaking, the, uh, where, where a castle is involved, somebody is dominating somebody else. Um, and what better way to show that you're in charge and to intimidate people than to build a dirty, great big castle, you know, um, that's kind of, you know, seems impregnable. And also a place where um, people can disappear, you know, people can be taken to and horrible things happen or, you know, they never come out again. So, yeah, so there we go. Um, so that's my plan is to is to redraw this with uh, and correct all the errors. So, for example, um, the the gaps between the battlements. So all of this is battlements, actually. These are Merlons, they're Crenels, the gaps in between. I would have made those, uh, in retrospect, make those half the size. Because if your defenders are having to walk from along the rampart and you've got archers... Uh, outside shooting at them then they have to run <laughs> run like hell across these gaps <laughs> where they're vulnerable to being shot so you want those really much much smaller um, and I think you you want much more support here for this overhang um, I've made that quite wide but I've talked about that in the other video so I will not repeat myself uh, so stay tuned uh, for the next one the next drawing that I do so the next one will be a continuation of this particular design with all its flaws and then we'll kind of we'll do one that shows what I've learned and um, puts everything right so I hope you've enjoyed that I hope that's interesting uh, I will see you in the next video I haven't forgotten that I uh, uh, did a, uh, ask for your questions about narcissism to do a video so we'll do a video on that soon that will be coming um, and more on retroactive jealousy we're going to do some more retroactive jealousy shorts um but for now here's a badly designed castle <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching Ray Mario